Yo, what's good with it, YouTube? Man, it's your boy, Zonzel Watson, a.k.a. Zell Music. And look, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to EQ vocals in Studio One. When it comes down to EQing and stuff like that, it's really simple. It's just based on, like, the voice that you're EQing because everybody's voice is different. And there's three different parts. There's a high, there's a middle, and there's a low part. You just want to make sure that you adjust according to the person's voice as natural as possible, okay? With that being said... I'm not going to add other effects. It's just going to be EQ. So don't think that this is going to be like the end all be all. This is the beginning. This is actually laying down the foundation before the compressors, the reverbs, the other stuff, the, the auto tune, all that. This is going to go on one track. Um, I got this uh, little little Soldier Boy type joint, you know, like, like she looking right. Hey, hey, she looking. So that's what I got on this. Um, it's not no singing, it's, you know, it's rap vocals, but all I'm doing, I'm saying the same thing over. She looking right. That's it. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys like the highs, the middles, the lows, and just show you guys. So yeah, man, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate the love. Let's get it in. She looking right. She looking right. Uh, -uh. she looking right. Hey. That's nothing. She looking right. It's trash. I don't even want to hear it. It's trash. Um. Woo. She looking right. Let's add some EQ. So first thing we're gonna do, um. There's different EQs out there. There's a Pro EQ for uh, Studio One, and then there's the R EQ. So R EQs by Waves, and uh, Pro EQ, let's go ahead and put that on there too. Why do I use R EQ? You're about to find out. Now, um, just right off the bat so you guys know, there is um, there's effects in here like uh, presets. If you go to default, if you're male R&B, Rock, whatever, female, pop, whatever, just vocal. Just there. Um, and you can make your own. So they're there for you, but I wouldn't rely on them. So let's let's just try, let's make sure this is off. And just so you guys know what I did, I just dragged and dropped it to the insert. Alright. You could have dragged and dropped it on here too. I gotta remember you guys are you guys are brand new. So Woo. she looking right. Like I said, from the left, this is all the lows. Right here, this is the uh, mids, and this is the uh, the highs. So, like, basically, if I took off, if I started with the lows, let's start with with this right here. Woo. She looking right. I'm taking off the lows. She looking right. With this red low cut filter, I could also have went down here. Woo. She looking right. Why did I mute everything except for that? Because I want to hear it. You want to make sure that. Like, your focus is on this because the EQ is laying the foundation for your tone, for your vocals, you know? Woo. She looking right. She looking right. She looking right. And this is usually the area where I like mine to be cut off. And then the um, the orange is the low filter. So we're still on the low. So I say from about right here, this line on back, we're in the, we're in the lows. From right here on back. From here to here, we're in the mid, in the middles of your voice. From here to here... We're in the highs, right? So I'm just gonna adjust the low, stay around here. Woo! She looking right. Hey. She looking right. She looking right. Hey. I don't wanna take too much out. She looking right. She looking right. Hey. She looking right. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now let's adjust the uh the middle. I just saved. Command S. Control S. So now I'm I'm just clicking them where I could go down here. Now. Here's where things get a little more, a little more tricky. So, um, you you can mess with the Q, and you see these little Woo. little she things. Right. These she are these is the spectrum of your voice. So this is showing you where you're loudest at and where you're you know quieter at. Woo. She looking right. And the, and so the Q helps you. Woo. She looking right. To really t tuggle on a on a on a uh, spot that you're seeing. And just get that out, and you can leave the rest of the middle, Woo. or wherever. She looking right. She looking right. Look at your spectrum. She looking right. Usually a spectrum is a good stair wave, kind of like, it's it's a wave thing, but then it can have a dip somewhere because of something you're taking out in like a spot. That could be high, mid, or low. Like, that's not uncommon. But it usually goes still like a, like a chart, you know, like a graph. Woo. She looking right. She looking right. She looking right. All right. So next. Woo. She looking right. 
this is still the middle. Just so you guys know, I'm still between it's two hertz, two kilohertz, and two hundred kilohertz. So I'm still, I'm I'm well in it. I'm good. She looking right. I'm just noted. Looking- I'm just wondering, like, should I turn myself up more in this area? Cause I'm going to the higher parts of my voice. Whoa. She looking right. She looking right. You guys like that? She looking right. Hey. And then. She looking right. Hey. She looking right. That Q, that Q really helps you to really know, um, like, like, okay, you don't need all that stuff taken out, but you need, you need that. Whoa. She looking right. Right there, she and you can right. see my my uh. She looking right. My yeah. graph is looking is looking good from here on here. Now, um, from here to to the end, um, this is the high, middle. So this is a very important one, as you can see. Um, this is a very wide, wide Q, and or maybe it's the same as the others when they started at one. I didn't even Q this. The others when they started at one, but to me it just looks like that because I know the power of this area. She looking right. Ooh. She looking right. Ooh. She looking right. Hey. She looking right. Oh yeah. She looking right. Now, like, just so you guys know about the highs, yes, it's it's more often that people turn up their highs more, obviously, right? But be careful. Don't don't turn it up too high. And then another thing is like when you're dealing with like like uh, a female, and you want to. She already has a naturally high voice, so. For ladies out there, like, you know, be be real careful over here. Cause some ladies might want to turn up their lows. Cause they're they have no low in there. Just like we want to turn up our highs. So Whoa. she looking right. Hey. She looking right. I'm on the high. She looking filter, right. The last hey. one. Well, yeah. She looking right. I'm on the last filter. And these are cuts that um the LLC. <laughs> shout out the business LLC. And then uh LC. I could even soften this and have it on if I wanted to. All that is is like cut, uh, like cutoff filters or yeah, things. So basically, Whoa. she looking right. We're good. She looking right. Now this is on high quality. Make sure yours is on high quality. You can see what it does. And then when you're, uh, let's turn it on with the beat and hear what we got. Whoa. She looking right. I'm gonna turn the beat down just because I'm looking at where we're at. She looking right. She looking right. Now, mind you, no effects, no echoes, no nothing. Like, that's the foundation for all that. And I like it because I hear what I'm saying. I hear my words clear, crispy. So now I have a track under there. And, I mean, before I do that, I'm going to just show you briefly why I use REQ, though, instead of Pro EQ. Now, that's great. If that's all you got, great. But double click. REQ by Waves allows me, if I just go to preset, like, um, the lead vocal. <laughs> It's the same thing, right? Same thing. She looking right, but better already. Not even do, not even touch nothing. Whoa. She looking right. Ooh. She looking right. Hey. She looking right. Hey. So I mean, that's an advantage. It's an advantage. And uh, man, I just want you guys to be able to afford these kind of things, or you know, know how to install these kind of things, so you know you're not limited by Studio One. So moving on, if I were to uh, drag and drop the Pro EQ. All I do is I just click. I don't got a whole shift or nothing, and just drag and drop. If you don't know, boom. If you can't see it on the mixer, boom. Now speaking of the mixer, the mix is right here. The mixer pops up in like two different ways. You can do it by clicking mix down here at the bottom, or you can right there, double click whatever track and it'll highlight it. Whatever you're clicking, you're highlighting. That's it. So uh, there we go. And then uh, let's did I, did I duplicate it? Yeah, all right, so let's listen to them both. I'm going to have to do a little bit of volume adjustment, but I'm going to do that. Actually, I'm going to put this on zero, and I'm going to do the volume adjustment because it's going to be way too loud right here on the gain. So this is the volume. Whoa. She looking right. She looking right. She looking right. Hey. She looking right. She looking right. It's perfect. Whoa. She looking right. She looking right. She looking right. Hey. She looking right. She looking right. Now just imagine like with the other effects, the foundation is laid. And I just wanted to show you the difference between not having like EQ and, and having EQ and, ha and how to and, and like how to use it. You know what I mean? How to actually do it to your vocals and 
now like let's just say I like this right because I kind of do I do like this um, I'm actually going to click this button up here and store my preset and I'm gonna call this um, I could even call it soldier boy type right and then subfolder vocal okay why put it in the subfolder vocal because now when I look and I open up I go to Soldier Boy type. Whenever I have a Soldier Boy type beat that I did with my voice, I know that this is somewhere in line with this. Um, and yes, you can do that on on all of your on all of them. You can save them right here, save a preset. You know what I mean? So it's it you can do you can do it right here even. You can store it right here, right? And so how does that help you? Like uh, Soldier Boy, this is how I normally would do it. I don't, there's no there's no uh, presets for this because this is a third party app so you can just click this and that soldier boy and then have a whole bunch of other ones that you want so yeah um I just wanted you guys to see the power in in using this if you guys watch this video if you didn't know how to EQ your vocals didn't know what it meant and you guys now know after you've watched the video then please hit the like button man please subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed uh, I just want to give you guys the best content out there I don't want to just just drop whatever I want to give you guys valuable content so uh, man let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do videos about um, also man like check out the description the link in the description man I can do one-on-ones I can help you guys with your mixing we get on zoom calls um, I can help you guys mastering all that stuff so man it's all love remember Jesus love y'all peace man I'm gone